teachers of reddit, what are some positive trends you have noticed in today's youth? Nerd slash geek culture is more accepted. At my school they are the ones with the largest friend groups. I feel like nerd slash geek culture will dissolve, and being a nerd will become the norm as technology advances. I wouldn't be surprised if that whole term was growing pains and us as a culture mentally adjusting to the rise of technology. University teacher here, my students put in way more effort than I did at their age. Granted, the system has pushed them in that direction as well, but they typically have a better idea of where they want their career to go and are willing to put in the effort to obtain that goal. By comparison, I and my cohort mucked about a bit more. Not a teacher, I'm 27 now but in elementary, one of my best friends was kid with down syndrome. His name is Sean. Super cool guy and the nicest person you would ever meet. I introduced him to my other friends and he just clicked with our group. We had sleepovers and his parents always thanked us for including him, and I remember my friend, Ian, who was the most hesitant to befriend Sean, telling the parents Sean is one of us, no worries. I remember the dad getting emotional after that. Anyways, Sean is now married, we were his groomsmen, with a diploma and works at Walmart as a greeter. Love that guy. Edit, thank you for the gold. First time I have gotten it. I really love this story. I'm happy for all of you. Not a teacher, but work the 2 to 10 shift at the local gas station across from the junior high and high school. Kids these days are a lot nicer, more likely to donate to our fundraisers and they have zero problem for paying for each other's stuff when someone's short. I worried about my son, who has mild autism, for the first 10 years of his life. I kept telling him that middle school would be hard, kids would tease him, etc and that high school would be even harder in the same respect 15 years ago, I would have been right. Fast forward to now, and I'm constantly amazed and grateful for how well he is treated. Even the jock kids and big snotty idiot kids who would make perfect bullies are inclusive, kind, and even sometimes protective of my son. I've told all of them how appreciative I am, and even got a few of them Christmas presents this year. Love those kids. Edit, a few people are doing the math. My son is 11 and I'm 30. He's not in high school yet, but he will be there with the same kids he is in middle school with, so I feel confident about it. Edit 2, my first gold. I'm not even a teacher. Colon close bracket. They are generally independent and self-reflective. When I first started teaching I thought I had simply lucked out getting students who were consistently bright, engaged and curious, but having now taught at three different universities on two different continents, it seems to be a general trend across universities. They are also, as noted elsewhere, generally kind and empathetic, and both my male and female students are usually pretty emotionally mature. With high schoolers, I really noticed how better their style is. Super random but compared to how lazy I dressed in high school it's impressive. High schoolers try really hard to look good for school. Then you get to university and realize that no one cares because people would literally just go to class in their pajamas or just put a hoodie and call it a day. Total opposite for me. When I went to college I was floored at how much better dressed people were. I was like damn. I really need to step my game up instead of the lazy crap I've been pulling for years. Housed to a high school teacher, she had to say, they were born into the internet and social media, it is not something they had to learn. Also as a result of which, they are also more self-reliant with research. And most importantly, contrary to the largest complaints, today's kids are extremely hardworking and are less judgy of nerds, less judgmental in general. As a student currently in high school, the big thing for our generation, at least in decent schools, is that failure isn't cool. Sure if you suck up to the teacher and obsess over studying you'll get made fun of a bit, but the kids getting Fs get made fun of a lot more. A lot of the popular kids are actually really smart and get top grades. There's a general awareness that we all need to do well and a lot of aspiration for the future. When I was in HS, which was literally 2.5 years ago, a lot of the popular kids in our school were the overachievers. Kids who took honors and app classes while playing on the school sport teams. I teach junior high. Celebrity status of jocks is over. They are just one more social group on campus. 
smart kids have more respect from their peers. Multidisciplinary excellence seems to be more value than ever. High schooler here. There seems to be an understanding with almost everyone that you can make fun of your friends as long as uh, you know the thing you're teasing them about isn't an insecurity. So body image, sexuality, etc. Are off L I M I T S asterisk asterisk B. You know that if someone said the thing you're about to say to you that was a mouthful, you wouldn't take offense. See, you're close enough friends that it isn't weird. It's great. I'm also finding the further I get through high school, I've just finished year 11th, so I'll be a year 12th next year, so a junior, the more people are expanding their friend groups. For example, looking at the name slash phone numbers in my phone you'd actually never be able to tell who I am. I've got popular kids, nerds, drama kids, music kids, Emmas, and more. If you had told middle school me, I'd be friends with half of the people I'm friends with, I probably would have laughed in your face. Edit. In regards to the body image and sexuality thing being off limits, it's more just group specific, since those seem to be the things that my group isn't too keen on being teased about. This thread is dope it's given me hella hope for the future. This is definitely the most wholesome thread I've read in a while. Not a teacher, but I've noticed that a lot of children seem to be questioning authority rather than flat out rebelling. I wonder if that's actually any different, or if we as the adult generation are now more accepting of questions, so we treat kids with more respect and actually answer questions? So instead of calling it rebellion, we call it curiosity? Edit. Wow. Thanks for the gold. Never gotten that before. D very interesting take this. We all know our parents grew up in super strict schools, I guess we've edged to a more positive place. Lol my dad told me a story about how this dude he went to high school with got hogtied and thrown into a bin full of wood chips during shop class, anecdotal but from all his stories it sounds like they got away with way more shit. The 8 year olds I teach really make a huge deal about plastic. We watched the Blue Planet 2 episode with them. And since then they have been so mindful and really want to protect the oceans as an environmental engineer, I can tell you that awareness is the single most powerful tool to give us a chance of a future. Keep doing your crucial job, mate. There has been a large influx of Fortnite dancing and the saying of oof eat. Not a teacher, but I do run soccer camps for kids. Kids today are much smarter and much more informed than I ever was like even kids as young as 10 have a basic grasp of modern social issues. I'm a middle school social studies teacher. The students I've taught, whether at a school that was generally dysfunctional or at one that runs really smoothly, question authority and speak out against perceived injustices in a way that kids in my generation, I'm in my early 30s, did not. They are absolutely aware of the spread of misinformation and attempts to control people's thinking through propaganda, and they are massively better prepared to see through it than any generation before them. This is the only generalization I can really make, tbh. I've been at schools with negative cultures where the kindness that I'm reading other people talk about in their responses was non-existent. I'm at a school, now that is so relentlessly positive, and loving that, if I hadn't taught at other schools I might think it was a generational thing. For a lot of things, it really is dependent on the neighborhood and school culture. They don't smoke as much, if anything, they're smoking weed very occasionally. Yay believe it or not legalization makes it harder for kids to get weed I've definitely noticed fewer people smoke, though it's nearly impossible to find someone who's never used weed. Alcohol was so difficult to get a hold of in high school. I could find someone dealing weed within a couple hours without much effort. Now that I'm over 21, I realize why that's the case. I'd never risk providing alcohol to high schoolers because of legal consequences of if it goes wrong and how I would live with myself. The likelihood of things going wrong seems smaller with weed, but still it's something that means you aren't breaking the law with having it so giving it to underage people is, the line means the marginal consequence is more significant. That's my prediction of what would happen. It, the kids are alright. They really always are. No joke, worse than bringing up politics at a big family Thanksgiving slash Christmas, the real controversial take. To get all the old folks upset is to make the case that the kids, teens, and young adults today are going to be alright, and will do great things. They are so sold on just writing us off. 
The reason millennial has become such a slur is, among other reasons, in part because of all the clickbaity garbage articles trashing young people that are written for older people on Facebook. It's one of the most popular circular jerks there is on the internet actually. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that bell to turn on notifications, so you'll be sure to know when the next video comes out. Want to watch some more? Check out my other videos. I really do appreciate everyone who helps make these videos possible. And as always, thanks for watching.